Living a lonely, hungry life. Try flatbread pizza. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to make flatbread pizza from scratch. First, I'll make the crust, which is a non-bread recipe. Then, I'll make the sauce with a blender. And then, I'll make some toppings. To begin the crust, you'll need a clean workstation and some ingredients. Get out all-purpose flour, bread flour, hot water, whole yogurt, butter, instant yeast, sugar, and salt. Weigh out or measure your ingredients into a large bowl. Start with one and a half cups or 180 grams of all-purpose flour, then three-fourths of a cup or 90 grams of unbleached bread flour. Then add a half cup plus two tablespoons, or 142 grams, of warm water. Then five tablespoons, or 71 grams, of full-fat Greek yogurt. Then put two tablespoons, or 28 grams, of butter into a cup, microwave it until melted, and put it into the bowl. Then add one and a half teaspoons of instant yeast, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of granulated sugar. Now stir the dough ingredients together until well mixed. Then turn out onto a floured surface and knead until smooth, bouncy, and only a little sticky to the touch. Here, I only needed it about a minute and 30 seconds. Now place that dough ball in a slightly oiled bowl, cover it, and leave it to rise in a reasonably warm place for an hour. This is a good time to make the pizza sauce. Now to make this sauce, I'll start with a 28 ounce can of whole San Marzano tomatoes, and then I'll put in some leaves of basil that I had previously washed. Washing my basil, my basil's getting washed. Then I'll add two cloves of garlic and a splash of olive oil. About a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and maybe a quarter teaspoon of uh, crushed red pepper flakes. Then I'll blend it until smooth. This will keep in the refrigerator for at least a week. So if you like pizza and make it a lot the way I do, you'll be fine. Back to the naan. After the dough has risen for about an hour, take it out and cut it into about eight equal portions. Here I'm using the back of a knife because I don't have a dough cutter. After you've made these portions, roll them into little balls. Then set them aside and cover them. Let them wait for about 20 to 30 minutes. While you're doing this, get out a cast iron skillet if you have one or just another heavy skillet and heat it up. All right, it's now time to cook the naan. I've let them sit for 20 minutes. I have already rolled one out and put it on my heated cast iron skillet. Put a little canola oil on this first. Uh, and now I'm gonna show you how I roll them out. Now I've used a lot of rolling pins, but I find that a, a simple smooth cup, this this one is from Target. It's, it's actually the best I've ever found rolling out flatbread. Um, you know, ideally you'd have something of a round shape, but I don't actually care too much. Um, this is, this is good.
Now it's time to prepare the toppings. I've already shredded some cheese. This is mostly mozzarella with a little white cheddar and parmesan mixed in with variety and some Italian seasoning and red pepper flakes for flavor. I'm also going to make some uh, sautéed chicken as a topping because I like that. So I'm going to dice this chicken breast in small cubes. Then I'm going to season it heavily uh, with black pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, and chili powder. You can do whatever you want. And then I'm going to put it in this pot with some uh, canola oil. Just let it cook till it's good and sautéed. Now it's time to put the pizzas together. Get that oven preheated to 350 degrees. Lay some naan out on a baking sheet. Spoon some sauce onto each one and use the back of the spoon to spread it around. Sprinkle some of that cheese blend onto each piece of naan. A moderate amount, maybe more than you expect if you've never made homemade pizza before. Then lay on those extra toppings. I've got that cubed spiced chicken, some sautéed onions I made earlier, and some greens I made earlier. It's uh, sautéed mustard greens and basil. I'm putting it on all three of these pizzas, and then one of them is not going to have any vegetables because I'm making it for a friend who doesn't eat cooked vegetables. Then, once the oven is preheated to 350, you're going to take that tray and you're going to pop it right into the oven. Put it on the middle rack. Set a timer for eight minutes. You're going to want to come back when the cheese is bubbly and brown. Don't take it out when the cheese is pale. It won't be done. You might need to put it on broil for the last two minutes, like I did here. Oh yeah, those are looking pretty nice. Let's take that out. Just let these cool for a few minutes and then slice and enjoy. Congratulations, you made flatbed pizza.